In agricultural value chains, the last mile is the web of relationships and transactions between buyers and farmers. Most of this activity takes place in the developing world. Agriculture is the main driver of Kenya's economy, accounting for almost 34% of GDP and at least 73% of Kenya's rural population rely on the sector as their main source of income and employment. In Kenya, between 10 and 20% of smallholder farmers are part of organized value chains. The remainder are informal. The GSMA identified dairy as the value chain with the second largest output in Kenya, making it the most suitable for business-to-person payment digitization. Agtech companies such as Virtual City have been implementing initiatives to digitize the dairy value chain. Initially, we were doing pretty generic IT uh, services. And then with some of our first few customers, as we began to look at what is the problem that we're trying to solve, we ended up spending more time looking at the supply chains and how do the supply chains work, where are the inefficiencies in the supply chain, and where can technology, especially mobile technology, uh, play a role. And this is really from a market need that we saw from a lot of our customers, that's where the pain was. There was very little visibility as to what's happening on the agricultural side and also what's happening on the distribution side. And there the issue was the, the level of fraud that was happening that was affecting the farmers, where the farmers did not feel that they were getting uh, value for what it is that they were delivering. So that became the problem that we needed to solve. But the proof of concept stage is where we actually then say, all right, Mr. Customer, have we mapped what you used to do in the, in the manual space with what you're doing digitally? And have we improved the efficiency? And have we reduced the fraud? And have we helped you grow? Firstly, the milk is collected at the farm gate by transporters or riders, where they weigh the milk and capture the data via their mobile device. The farmer immediately receives an SMS communicating how much milk was received and how much they will be paid. The transporters deliver the milk to the chillers, where the milk is weighed, tested and stored. The chillers then reconcile the data, ensuring what was collected is ultimately delivered to the dairy. The dairy finally processes, packages and dispatches the product. Throughout this process, the back office receives real-time data, making it easy to generate a payroll and enabling farmers to create an economic identity through the issuance of digital receipts and payments via mobile money, moving them away from the informal cash transactions and enabling access to formal financial services. Solutions like these can help mobile money providers drive adoption, especially in rural areas, and increase revenue as the number of business-to-person transactions in agriculture grows. We are able to transfer money to a lot more financial institutions. And we are finding most farmers are preferring M-Pesa. Actually, a third of the farmers right now are receiving their money through M-Pesa. I, as a farmer, I preferred M-Pesa because at the times, they pay me even at night. So if I had no paraffin or fat, I would just go and withdraw the cash and run and I'll be comfortable. If I had a lot of money, I would have a lot of money. The moment I had a lot of money, I would have a lot of money. I would have Mimi naona mambo yamepandishika kwa sababu hizi hiyo kitu inatupimia inampima hata grams asipotei na hiyo ya samani gramu zinapotea kwa hivyo hii ni nzuri kuliko hiyo ya samani wakati tulikuwa tunatumia kanti ilikuwa ngumu sana juu masaa kwa panapana tulikuwa tunatumia masaa mingi hawakulima na kombolini zilikuwa mingi kilo zimepotea sasa hii system tuko nayo na kuwaka msuri juu unaweza kuwatiti mkulima unamuasia message, anafuatidia kitu sake, vizuli, na sisi tunakuwa na kasi laisi. Iyo, iyo ya zamani, ilikuwa, kuna transportasi walikuwa hata wanajasia mkulima maziwa mbila kuhusa, 
kwa hivyo unakuta huyo mkulima ni akuli na mkulima kama huyo lakini yakiandika kwa receipt si utamlipa lakini kwa hii system sasa nini wale watu wanahusika na ile hesabu wanadhibitisha wale wakulima wamenijua ni hawa na hawa any time before they pay wanaandika text wananiambia confirm first of all confirm that we have written this amount of returns sasa ni kiangalie kwa record yangu na sio sasa any time wakiandika wana just sasa kwa simu inakuja kwa simu on daily basis so na at least hapo naweza kurifa na niko na mali sasa ya kurifa at on this particular date you send this message and this is the amount that i had so to you and even at the head office now we can see the the statistics on the ground it makes it easier for us to do a payroll and pay um, and also creates some level of confidence between us and the farmer by reducing errors because sometimes these errors the farmer thinks that uh, maybe you are trying to take advantage of them we are working together and there are no no complaints because whatever whatever i de i deliver i will get the message immediately writing may be erased or lost but if it is in in the system it cannot get lost the eu system you know it is very convenient it is of transparency and accountability it's an issue of efficiency uh, you're dealing with perishable goods how efficient am i in making sure that what i collect in the farm is exactly what ends up on the shelf the digital tool has really made work easy has improved on communication and transparency a leader in mobile money kenya has pioneered the digitization of procurement transactions between agribusinesses and farmers. In addition to payments, digital tools in the last mile bring a wide array of benefits to agribusinesses, such as effective control and monitoring of operations, transparency of transactions, analytics capability, and the establishment of effective communication channels with smallholder suppliers. In 2019, the GSMA will launch an innovation fund to support projects to digitize the agricultural last mile in developing countries. For further details, please visit our website.